Hi everyone and welcome to my home. Hey Alihupa and welcome back to another video. This video is the most special one I've ever done so far. This is the video about my home. I'm making this video for two reasons. One, I want to show off my house because I love it and I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, and two, I also want you to understand where I come from, where I grew up, how I used to live in Sweden. So when I do complain about a certain capital in Southeast Asia, I tend to complain about the people, the noise and the traffic quite a lot. But this is where I come from. So. Please, I hope you will have some understanding in future videos. I'm not a city boy, I'm the country boys of country boys. Uh, we don't have any farming animals, we have two cats, that's about it. So here is only me and my parents. My parents sleep in the big white house and I sleep in the barn. No, like for real, I'm actually sleeping in the barn. But it's not as bad as it sounds. Trust me, my parents love me. Uh, stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you my room. And to all of you who have asked for more information, more details and more interesting facts about these places that we visit in our videos. Well, today is your lucky day because I do consider myself an expert on this place in particular. For example, one interesting fact is that in this village, which is called Renstad, we don't have street addresses or at least not street numbers because, well, we only have one street, so it wouldn't really make any sense. All the houses do have personal names and they all make sense. So for example, our neighbors here to the north, their house is called Danule, which is Swedish for to the north. And then our neighbors on the other side, their house is called Der Framme, which is Swedish for over there in the front, because their house is over there. Uh, and then obviously our house is called Mellanstugan, which is Swedish for the house in the middle. So I know that I said that we have two cats. What I should have said is that we own two cats. Animals, no, no borders. So we have plenty of other animals here as well. The neighbors, ducks and geese, tend to check out our pond quite a lot. We also have the neighbors, cows here, just a couple of meters away from our house. And sadly, we do have plenty of frogs here as well. If you didn't know, this is how frogs look like before they grow legs. And this is also the reason for why I do not drink bubble milk tea. Oh, I hate frogs so much. Ugh, so gross. And that's how it looks around the house here. Now, before I show you how I live in the barn, I just want to give you a quick house tour of my parents' house in the background here as well. Just so you get a better idea and a better understanding on how a normal Swedish countryside house would look like and how they live as well. And the first room here to the left is the kitchen. Or should I say the first bedroom because that is what this room is mostly used for. And the cats are never allowed to sleep on the table. They're only allowed to sleep in their bed, but my parents compromised. And then me and my dad also used this kitchen to hide the snacks and candy from my mom. And then in 
in the end of the hallway here, we have the fireplace, which is literally the heart of the entire house, which gives heat and hot water to every other room. With the most important room being the bathroom, and here my mom and my dad have their own separate sinks. And this room also come with some luxury accessories like a shower cap and a razor from Howard Hotel. Next stop is the second floor where we have the living room. Or should I say second bedroom because that is what this room is mostly used for. We have a pretty nice TV and some really comfortable chairs as well. Unfortunately, we don't get to use them too much since they're always taken. And upstairs we also have the master bedroom with the master himself here getting ready to take another nap. Welcome to my house. Now, this barn is a lot of things. It's a storage facility, it's a garage, it's my dad's workshop, it's where we store all the wood for the winter, and it's also my room. I'm not joking, I'm actually living inside here, but as I said before, it's not as bad as it sounds. Because inside here, I have radiators, I have a proper bedroom, and a lot of other pretty cool stuff. I am super excited to give you the full tour of this place, and we're gonna start with the obvious and my absolute favorite thing about this place. We have a pool table. Now this is the confusing part because I know that the Chinese word for pool table and table tennis it's the same, well it depends on if you're in Taiwan or mainland China, but luckily we have both. And it's actually surprising how much you can learn about a person just by checking out their home. For example, in my house I have a full scale bar with three bar chairs right here. But I do not drink alcohol, so please don't jump to any conclusions. Uh, we just found this bar table, a neighbor wanted to give it away. We thought that would be pretty cool when I was 15. Uh, and then things just escalated from there. So we have the full set with the shelves, with all the glasses, with the music section. Everything is taken care of, but we do not have that many parties here actually. Another thing you might realize is that I really like the color orange. Like, a lot. Like, more than a lot. Like, that much. You think this is too much? What's too much? The shirt? The helmet? The glasses? I'm just saying that when you put everything together, maybe it was a little bit too much sometimes. Like, you even had orange toilet paper. Dude, this toilet paper is sick. Do you know how much time I had to spend trying to find this? You gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Okay, I gotta admit, that is pretty cool. Okay, let's wrap this up and continue with the rest of the tour. And if you look close enough, you will find bowling balls and bowling equipment everywhere in this barn because there was a time in my life where I would spend every single day down in the bowling alley now I'm spending every single day in front of my YouTube videos, editing all day long. But there was a time in my life where I played bowling a lot. I even spent three years in a bowling high school. If you're interested and want to know more about that, leave a comment below and we will take that in another video. For now, let's head out down to the lake and wrap up this house tour. And 
And last but not least, we have the porch or the sun deck right here by the lake. This is where we enjoy all the beautiful sunsets we have up here, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. And also remind you that if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And please share this video with your friends and see you all next week.